Welcome back guys, Sean Staplefield here. It is July 24th, I believe, and uh, we're just gonna jump right into it. We're gonna have a shave with uh, this gold dollar. This was my first gold dollar. I changed the scales on it. And um, I've been playing around with codicles. I've been trying to do a one stone hone or a one hone stone or whatever you wanna call it. And um, I've been honing on this codicle right here, Arden's codicle. I believe this is standard or select, I'm not sure. One of the two. And uh, I just wanna see and talk about where my, uh, my codicle game is at at the moment. Excuse me for a second while I lather up. And this, this is my new um, Volfix, the old original Badger brush. Um, yeah. Thank you, Michael Bamba Boy. Check him out. Uh, he's uh, he's getting into the straight razor shaving, and um, he's doing a good job, man. So check him out. Um, I'm also trying out this Sterling Company soap, Iceberg Island. I can. It feels cold, man. It's good, refreshing. All right, let's see where we're at with the cotical. I'll put the picture of how the edge looks here. So you guys saw the picture. I set the bevel on a 1.5 and then just went to the cortical until the finisher. More consistent. Slowly getting more consistent with the cortical, you know, bevel setting and then making my way um, to the refinement stage. So the way I look at it and the way, uh, the way I've always done it is I go to the 10K or the 8K and and then I go to the cortical and I just do it under running water until it starts sticking. This is a nice edge, in my opinion. And the way I've been practicing now, under Eric's guidance, is uh, doing the one stone honing. And it's, it's interesting, you know? Definitely enjoying it, the process. Oh man, this uh, Iceberg Island I can, if you see my eyes are a little bit closed, it's because it's uh, it's very refreshing. I kind of like that. But for the most part, um, now I'm setting the bevel on the cortical, and uh, then I go 
into the cuticle itself, make a slurry, dilute, dilucot. You guys have, have heard of that before. Um, but on this one, I set the bevel on the 1.5 and then dilucot. So just that slight little difference. What I want to do here. So now I'm thinking of getting a bigger cuticle. This one's nice. It's in the bigger range. And the reason why I mentioned how I um, used to hone the, with the cuticle and how I'm doing it now is um, because I want to try everything out. You know, there's different methods. And uh, sometimes you get bored of honing one way, so you try another one, and that's good. Oh man. <laughs> this is pretty strong, guys. Or am I, am I a weakling? But I can barely open my eyes. Sheesh. Woo! But I'm slowly getting consistent results with the Dilokot method you know um i'm getting edges i'm happy with and um uh, it, it's this whole dollar process has helped me i've always thought as cuticles as a as an 8k finisher and uh now after doing this and studying them, um, that has completely changed the way I look at them. I don't think they're an 8K finisher. I mean, some of them maybe, I don't know. Um, and again, you guys know what I mean when I say 8K finisher. It's not that the stone itself is an 8K. This is a natural. It's not that. It's that the way it feels on my face, the way it cuts, I relate, I relate that to a, or I compare that to an 8K finisher. In this case, now... Ooh, the water. Woo! That feels cold. Interesting soap, this Iceberg Island, man. Where was I? I know it's not that uh, that it's an AK finisher. It's a, it's a natural. It doesn't have that. But the edges I've been able to produce are similar to an AK. And now I'm consistently getting from bevel set to 8K, 10K-ish. More like in the... It feels better than an 8K. So um, I would say 10K-ish is what I've been getting lately. I'm enjoying this badger brush, brush, um, like a massage, man. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh yeah. When it comes to honing Dilokot versus going synthetic and then finishing on, on a particle on water that took me a while because
with the synthetic progression and then finishing on, on running water, the razor would stick really quick and you're done, you know, you got a milder edge. When you're doing Dilokot, if you jump to running water too early, it'll stick really quick. So I feel like the cortical under running water effortless there across the grain. Um, you have to be careful because it can be, if you're doing dilucata, it can be mis misleading. I've, I've had edges that I've done dilucata. I, I jump too early to running water, it starts sticking. I say, okay, so when I was doing synthetics, I was done with it, stick. So I go to shave. I do my before I do do the shave. I do my laps on, on leather. Go to shave. It sucks. And then I go back to uh, soapy water. 100, 200 laps. Same razor. And uh, it's a it'll, it it feels like a different edge, completely. So. can't see anything man <laughs> this is uh interesting soap for sure let's do a uh, full spas let's see if our technique has gotten a little bit better with the full spas Very nice. And now the not dominant hand. All right, and we're back. Put some cold water in my face and that ice, iceberg island from Sterling um, with the cold water. And uh, man, now we're gonna try this Aqua Velva Ice Blue. This might be a mistake with that with that soap, you know? Just put a little bit. Man. Cotical edges, man. So comfortable. In my opinion, um, uh, cotical edges, when it comes to comfort, they're just at the top, um, followed by a, uh, a J nat edge. J nat edges are, are comfortable, but if honed incorrectly or on too much running water, they can be hyper sharp and, and not feel comfortable at all. And, um, I'll say uh, surgical black edges. Uh, the first few shaves are pretty, pretty uh, crisp and, and keen, and afterwards they get really mild. And then they might get more comfortable than the J nut after one, two or three shaves. They get more comfortable than a J nut for me, for me. So, and then of course synthetics, and synthetics also get milder after a few shaves. Um, anyways, um, that's where I'm at with cuticles right now. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Today is a win. Um, it, it's been a win for a while now. 
with Cardicals, but that's because I've, I've had great mentors, great helps from the, from the guys in the community. And uh, anyways, I hope to see you guys' content soon. Um, it's been like a slow week when it comes to the straight razor community. Um, DE guys uh, that I watch, you guys are pumping out content. I like it. Um, I just got, let me see here. I got a variety pack here of different DEs that I'm going to be trying out. Oh. So, um, I'll be looking forward to that. A few, like I showed you guys the brush, right? The Badger brush. And uh, I got these two. Iceberg uh, Island from Sterling and Ariana, Ariana and Evans Plum and Bliss. Very different soaps when it comes to scents. Um, performance wise, I really, I tried this one. Uh, I need to try this some more. And after I keep trying them, I'll, I might make a review what I think about them. Uh, all right guys, so I always read and reply to all your comments, so make sure you leave some in the comment section below, and I hope you guys have a great week.